So welcome to this, my first tutorial ever on YouTube, uh, which is about uh, Tonal.js, or partly about Tonal.js. Um, Tonal.js is a music theory JavaScript library that I've been using for uh, my ear training application, Earbeater, and I really grew to like it. It's really cool, and it has they have added a lot of new features lately, and it's, uh, yeah, I really like using it. It's very simple to use, but it has a lot of different functionality. I will not go into all of the different things you can do with uh, Tonal JS because there are simply way too many methods, way too many things you can do with it to to cover in this little course. I'm only going to be showing you guys part of what's possible with Tonal JS, but maybe in the future I'll expand on it and and make some some more videos about it. So what we're going to be making in this tutorial is something like this. Uh, it's basically just my attempt to make a what would you call it a chord dictionary where you can uh, you can select what chord you want. There's a lot of different buttons with chord names on them right here. And when you click on it, you will get the, um, the sound, what, what it sounds like. And you will also get the, um, let's just try it out here. Let's try another octave here. You can select the octave as well. And you can select the starting note. So let's say we want an, an F7 sharp five. Sounds like this. And you will get like the notes of the chords right here and you would get the different intervals that the chord is made up of. So yeah, what we can do here, we can change the start note. Let's say we want A in the fourth octave and we want it to be a sus4. That's what it sounds like. If we want it to be a minor major 7b6, it sounds like this. And we can change the octave if we want that. And it sounds like that. So yeah, that's what we're going to try to make. And we might even expand upon it to, to maybe we'll add scales, maybe we'll add a function so we can play uh, the notes, not in, in harmony, but um, ascending and descending. So, um, but we'll see about that. So another technology we're going to use, another JavaScript library we're going to use for this uh, tutorial is Howler.js. And we're going to be using that for simply playing sounds in, in the browser. Um, and I'm going to be using the, it's up to you what text editor you want to use, but I like to use um, Visual Studio Code from Microsoft. I really like it. It's easy to use and it's free and everything. So you can go to code.visualstudio.com and you can download it for your PC or for your Mac or whatever computer you're on. And we're also going to be using Parcel, which is a web application bundler. It makes it easy to work with JavaScript. It's going to bundle all of our assets, all of our JavaScript. And um, we're going to be able to use uh, ES6 syntax in our JavaScript. And we're gonna, it's going to provide us with um, live browser reload. And we'll also install Node.js if you don't already have it installed on your computer. Because uh, we're going to have to use the NPM, the Node Package Manager, for installing different packages. So let's sum up everything we've been talking about in this video. We're going to write this uh, app in vanilla JavaScript, and we will use the Tonal JS library for getting information about music theory, about chords, about, um, about notes, different information about that stuff. Then we will also use Howler JS, and that's simply just for getting uh, sound into the browser and working with sound in the browser. I will also be using some different tools for it. I will be using the text editor Visual Studio Code. And then I will be using the parcel bundler. And we will also be using NPM, the package manager, to install the different types of packages that we need. So let's talk about all of that stuff in the next video. See you there.